happened over the week and weekend so far. The first thing I want to point out is just how bad the weekend has gone with Chris Hansen and the Onision thing. Now, don't get me wrong. There's things that, you know, Chris Hansen's done that well, I have to applaud him. I will personally applaud him. And I'll be like, hey, you know what? You did a good job. Congratulations. You know, get a snow cone. It's falling into summertime. Get a snow cone. That's fine by me. But then there's Anision calling him out for what he's done. And, you know, to hold him on the station and everything like that, that's where it gets really weird. Now... If you are somebody that's like truthful in to uh, editorials and everything like that, then, you know, again, by all means, do you, boo. If you feel like you have a case, everything like that, go after them. But the problem is, as I have with Chris Hansen, is he really positively fought the absolute hell about, you know, being able to record it and or, you know, pre-record and everything like that. And it just made it really, really bad. It just made it seem really sketchy. It's like, okay, look, if you're a sinner, if you really do care about the kids, you shouldn't have to sit there and demonetize or, you know, be demonetized. Don't take any money or anything like that. And that's why I sort of feel like he had the upper hand when it came to uh, Chris Hansen. Now, moving on, he decided to launch out and attack all the other anti-O YouTubers. From Daniel to, uh, I think her name's like something Blanca. I forgot her name, but I can look it up. Anyways, it got to that point to where he called them all out. And none of them wanted to go after it. Even with, like, Daniel or Reposerion, he didn't want to go on with it. Like, if it was me... And if I was sitting there just straight up calling somebody out, like, oh, well, you know, you're a groomer, you're a child pedophile, everything like that, you know, calling them all kinds of levels in the book, I would have sat there, I would have legit been like, okay, you know what, I will go on this show, but first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the Bar Association, you know, for the state that I'm in, and the Bar Association at the state of, you know, wherever anybody else is at. So in this case, if I remember correctly, uh... Daniel or Rexurion is in Washington. The same thing with Greg or Anusion. And it's just to that extent where it's just like, okay, well, you know, again, it just boils down to that. You should have been able to, you know, look it up, Google it, call it in, or anything like that in that manner, and ask the big question, hey, am I going to get any kind of repercussion from doing this interview? And it could have gone one or two ways. Either they say, yeah, you're technically harassing or he's harassing you. Everything's fine and dandy. You know, that's what he wants. That's what he's going to get. And you could have just went on and did that. As far as like the, oh, well, you know, he threatened legal action. You know, afterwards of, you know, the whole court hearing and everything like that. It's like, dude, who cares? If you're 300%, this goes with Chris Hansen and Ref Sirian. If you guys are three to four to five, nine, a thousand percent into this, you should not have to sit there and be like, oh, no, I shouldn't. I shouldn't. And, you know, oh, demonetize. Oh, no, 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 I shouldn't. I want that money. Because then it just makes you look really super greedy. And what I mean by really super greedy, I mean, yeah, you look pretty flipping greedy. I mean, you're just like, well, I don't want to do it because I'm not going to get paid for it. If you really do care about the kids, like for me, I'm a good example, okay? Like, I'm talking to like, God, how many, like, there's one that's already going to a uh, case in court. Uh, as far as I know, I'm going to get subpoenaed for it. For a uh, guy that, you know, sat there and said he's like, you know, 40, maybe 60 years old. And I turned around and I reported it because he gave me all the information that he turned around and gave me. But so far, I'm into one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven, eight. Uh, right now, I'm talking to eight pedophiles. Well, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to use that word. Um, I'm into it. I'm like talking to eight different snakes to where it's to that extent to where I will be more than willing to fly, drive, bus, walk, run, trot, whatever it is. I'm more than willing to go there 
just to make sure I see some justice. Even though I'm not going to get paid in any way because, again, I talked to a lawyer in this man's state and I also talked to a lawyer in uh, my state and I turned around and I even asked the uh, detective that's investigating the whole entire thing. And they all said, no, you're not going to get paid or, you know, we're not going to pay for anything to get you up here. You know, if you come, you come. If you don't, too bad, so sad, everything like that and in between. So this is what, this is what really just like bothers me. And at the same time, it's just like, it's crazy. Like if you're going to sit there and accuse anybody of, you know, grooming or being a snake or anything in that manner, you should be completely into it. Like 300%. I don't care who it is, whether it's, you know, Chris Hansen, uh, was it Jeff Espine, everything like that. If it was to that point where if I was getting to that case where they're like, hey, you have to come in, you have to testify against court, you have to be an eyewitness, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, then yeah, I mean, I would sit there, I would go there. I will personally get there one way or another. I'm going to get there and we're going to sit there, we're going to see this guy go to jail versus you know what Rev Sirion did where he just pretty much just said oh no 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 I'm not I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm not gonna push this and then on top of that the next day the next day he turns around and makes a video just to remind us oh look how disgusting his skin is look at this look at that oh man that's it's it's like dude you just need to stop okay if you're not gonna go 400% into this then just stop there's no point in you going after anybody if you're not going to sit, if you're not going to even go anywhere near this whatsoever, then just stop. It's that easy. Let the guys or the people who are more than willing to sit there and, you know, pull a bank account out of their own ass and literally go to that state, country, or even talk to the guy face to face, on the phone, Skype, whatever, you go to them. And you ask those questions, like, why would you sit there and want to groom, you know, an underage child to the point that they're 18? Is it true? Is this true? Is that true? Is this fake? Is that false? And again, there are certain guys that would sit there and literally, like, go in there and be like, hey, I'm more than willing to talk to this guy. If he wants to, you know, attack all the anti-O, and there's one person that was not an anti-O, they sat there and literally went in there and asked those questions and f actually just got him to admit to reporting things, doing this, doing that, all this. And yet here's all these people that are calling up the arms. They want to have their hands shoved in their back pocket like, oh, well, I don't, I, I, I don't care. It's, it's fine. Oh, no, no, no. I, sh I shouldn't, I shouldn't talk to him. Again, dude, what the hell? Like, you had him in the bag. You could have sat there and easily did anything to stop him. And granted, you know, again, it boils down to the, well, you know, maybe I didn't have my questions right. Or maybe, you know, I need some time to, you know, ask those really super hard questions. That's fine. Like, by all means, if you wanted to do that, then you should have told him. You should have been like, hey, you know what? I'm not prepared for this. You just brought this up out of nowhere and I need time to prepare for this but <coughs> oh, excuse me but they didn't do that no instead they decided to turn it down faster than he offered it and it's again to that extent it's same thing with Chris Hansen Chris Hansen had time he really did and instead of like leaking out the actual video because that's what I'm guessing because I've watched some of his videos and you know his uh his callback to it and everything, he sat there and said, like, well, I know how predators act. I know this, I know that. It's like, well, that's fine, but send it out. Like, release it. Was he screaming at you? Was he doing this? Was he doing that? Was he just making it difficult for you to ask questions? You know, if Chris Hansen would have done any of this, it would have made more sense. I would have been like, okay, you know what? Obviously, Anision's, you know, keeps interrupting. And I know he's that kind of guy because, again, I've watched a few of his interviews with other YouTubers to where he pretty much, that's all he did, is he would straight up interrupt them, talk over them, or anything like that. And again, you, it just gets to that point. Like, like 
God, like I'm so, I'm just so shocked at the fact that these guys had them exactly where they wanted them. Again, hey, he's one to do an interview. If he starts talking over you, believe it or not, you're starting to win this argument because if he's trying to sit there and backtrack and trying everything he can to make sure that, you know, he looks better or if he's trying to like over talk you to sit there and explain his side of the story and hasn't done that, there's a big, big argument of that you could turn around and go, well, he's obviously covering his tracks or he's trying to talk over to sit there and like backtrack and everything like that. But y'all didn't do that. Instead, y'all guys were like, oh, should we? No, 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 no. Let's just back up. We're going to look like the fools here. And this is one of the big reasons that I feel like Anision's really, really got the upper hand when it comes to the anti Anision people. Because, like, all those people that literally sat there and said, like, oh, well, you know, he's trash. He's, he's a groomer. He's a child pedophile. Everything like that. And again, don't don't sit there and be like, oh, well, obviously, you know, you support him. No, I don't. I hate both of them. Like, when I say both of them, I hate, you know, Onision or Greg, and I also hate Rosalion. And there's personal reasons when it comes to Rosalion because of the fact that I just find it really weird and awkward how this guy will sit there and be more than willing to tell one person, hey, don't do that. Don't, don't dox somebody. And then... When somebody actually shows actual screenshots of them getting, you know, doxxed or anything like that, the only response he has is, is, well, they need to grow a bigger skin. It's like, okay, well, it doesn't work that way. Like, I'm sorry. If you're going to sit there and, you know, defend one person, you need to defend anybody. It doesn't matter. Like, and that goes the same thing for me. It's somebody. I don't care who it is. Whether if it's a Nissan getting threatened to be doxxed, whether it's any random person i have no clue who the hell they are and they're being threatened to be doxxed you bet i will sit there i will jump in there and be like hey how about you just don't do that <laughs> like honestly that's not hard like just stop doxing people you know and whether somebody is being threatened to be doxxed then you should be by accountable to help them out don't like like oh yeah, I'm a little bit triggered about this, but, you know, I'm more triggered at the fact that all these people that we looked up to, well, not even really looked up to, but all these people that we expect them to do some kind of level of good, they chose not to do that. Instead, what they chose to do is go, oh, no, shucks, I, I shouldn't do that. And it just made you guys look weak. You know, like, like if if Greg, if I was going after somebody, I don't care who it is whether it's Greg, whether it's, you know, Daniel or anything like that, if they wanted to do an interview or sit there and, like, you know, try and pop some questions at me, I'd be like, yeah, let's do it. You know, I don't have my questions ready, but if you give me some time, let me double check with some kind of lawyer or, you know, whatever state of our association that represents you in your state, in my state, and if there's no legal fireback, whether what's going to be talked or heated or anything like that, then, yeah, let's do that. Now, if, you know, if Daniel sat there and was like, oh, well, technically, you know, I could have gotten some big trouble, then yeah, you could have said that. You could have defended yourself. But, again, it boils down to the point where it just doesn't make you look good. You want to sit there and be like, well, I'm going to take the upper road. And it's just like, you're not really taking the upper road. What you're doing, it just looks like so you're just tuck tailing and running. Like, you know what? I'm not going to fight this guy because I'm not ready. And if you're not ready, then that's cool. By all means, if you're not ready, then just admit it. Just be like, hey, you know, I'll be more than happy to do that. But I'm not going to go on through and do this just yet. You got to give me some time. Like if they would have said, like any of them would have said that, I would have been like, okay, you know what? I'm going to back you up. What you're saying is true. Now, with that being said, uh, another reason why I really do feel like that Anision is going to get away with everything that he's been doing is because of Vincent. And Vincent's the kind of guy that will sit there and do some weird, random crap and everything like that. And, you know, he just does... It's just weird. But, honestly, I feel like he really, really did help out... Um, oh, well, I guess... My computer froze? Oh, okay, there we go. Um, 
you know, he just really, really did something really bad. You know, it's just to that extent. It's like, if he would have sat there, he gave the uh, laptop or service laptop to the FBI, this would have been a little more better. It would have been a little more smoother to the point where it's going to be really hard for Anisiano or Craig to have any wiggle room. But unfortunately, it's gotten to that point to where he does have wiggle room now because the FBI can't use that. Any court's going to sit there and look at it and be like, okay, so who's the last one to hold on to this? Was it a federal or was it some random dude that, you know, has some drunken attacks and just hates everybody and everything like that? And, of course, sadly, when you sit there and go, oh, well, you know, it's this guy that's, like, up in Michigan, I think it is, that that just that's just going to make the whole case thrown out. Like, I'm sorry, but they're just going to sit there and be like, well... What's stopping this dude from throwing, you know, porn, child pornographic images on there and going, oh, yeah, you know, that's definitely them. That's this and that. It's, it, like, I'm so, I wouldn't say mad, but it's just like, come on, man. It's like, it's not hard. This is not a hard case. If I'm having to go to this state and represent as an eyewitness of, well, you know, this guy, he sent some lewd images and, you know, he's 100% aware that I'm underage, but yeah, he chose to keep going with it. And if me, if I'm able to do that and maybe called into a, a court to defend myself and the allegations and everything like that, you would think that they would have done this a little more smarter, a little more easier. Where instead of sending it to some random dude, they would have just sent it straight to the FBI. If Chris Hansen went and sat there and was like, well, hold on, let's just uh, just give it to this guy. And maybe, you know, on good faith, he's going to do that. There's one thing that I will sit there, I will gladly admit, and I will point this out all day, every day. You can't trust random people. I hate to say it, but it's true. You can't just sit there and look at somebody and be like, well, obviously they're going to do good. That's not true. You can't sit there and go, okay, well, obviously, this guy I've been working with X amount of time, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, is going to do the right thing, and he's going to make sure that this is being delivered to the police. That's not how this works. I'm sorry. But, honestly, Chris Hansen really messed this up. Uh, a lot of the anti-O YouTubers that actually did attack and everything, or I wouldn't say attack, but, you know, they did... They did interview them and, you know, they have a bigger crowd than anybody else. And they turn around and they just like, oh, well, well you know, I'm not going to do the interview. It's like you should have, you know, asked some questions about, you know, law wise. You should have, you know, built up some kind of like questionnaire. So I'll sit there and, you know, put an on in his place to where he can't backtrack and go, oh, well, that's not what I meant. It's like, no, that's exactly what you meant. But, yeah, you screwed it all up. Like. Again, I hate to say it, but he's he's going to get away with this all because of how the anti-O are. And now it's to the point where the anti-O don't want to do it. Now he's going to ride on this and show everybody, like, this is what I'm talking about. They don't want to interview me, even though that's all they ever talk about. It's like, well, we want to interview him. And he's at first said, no, 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 no. And it really built their case up to where people were just like, okay, well, you know what? If you're not going to do that, then what the hell? What are you, what are you hiding? That that doesn't make any sense. But now it's to the point where, you know, Anision is just like, well, you know, I want to do the interview. And now nobody wants to do the interview. And that's just, I don't know, it just boggles my mind. It's just like, that's just, that's just not good. It's not good for us as, you know, quote unquote, the anti Anision people. But it just doesn't look good at people because, again, you had your chance. You threatened. You wanted to talk. You wanted to talk and everything like that. And I don't know. Ugh, it's like, it's just crazy. Like, to me, it's just crazy. Like, wow, man. Like, y'all guys had him by, you know, you had him by the cojones. But you chose not to go on with it. Instead, you decide to back up and not talk to him, not respond to him. And go, oh, should I, shouldn't I, kick the dirt, oh, man, maybe, maybe I should, no, I'm not going to do it, I'm not going to do it. It's like, geez, man, like, you could have, you could have probably messaged Chris Hansen with half of y'all guys, like, going on to his interview, 
<laughs> like, y'all guys could have sat there and asked Chris Hansen, like, hey, uh, what, what, what questions were you going to ask, uh, you know, Anision? So then I can turn around and I'll ask them for you. You know, so then that way we can get monetized. I'll give you, like, whatever the money may be or what it not be. But at the same time, it would have been hit there. It would have gone there. But again, it's just getting to that point where I'm starting to think like a lot of these anti nation people, like mainly Daniel and Chris Hansen, they're only in it for the money. And it's sad. It sucks. It really does suck. Like, you know, I personally, when I first saw uh, Reptilian, I legit thought that, you know, maybe this guy's like actually really good. Like, obviously, he's doing a lot of good because he's going after those people that, you know, are hiding in the dark and doing this doing that everything like that to where it's just like dude come on that's not right but yet when it came down to it where it's like hey man here's your chance don't blow it they decide to brush it off like yeah we're not going to do that we we decided to change our mind and it sucks it really does like like it, i feel horribly wrong with those that you know maybe you know at this point i gotta say you know, with the accusations and everything like that, that maybe they were accused or, you know, groomed and, you know, uh, involved in sexual relations with. But at this point, it's just like, man, come on, dude. It's like, it's like, come on. So I had to get a drink of water there. Throat's just drying up. I have corona. Nope, just kidding. Anyways. It's just to that extent. It's like, you know, you guys need to really, really just buckle down. If you really want to go after, like, you know, these uh, snakes and everything like that, then you need to step your game up. You can't just sit there and attack, attack, attack. Oh, crap. You can't just sit there and attack somebody and expect, you know, something to happen. Somebody's just going to, like, throw out a magic wand and just sue them. Oh. I'm getting a text. Probably nobody I care about. Nope. Um, yeah, it's just, you know, if it was me, I would legit been more than happy to talk to Anision. I would have asked him some of the questions. And again, I would have contacted anybody else that would have questions. Like, hey, if you had a question to ask him, what would it be? And I would probably try and put that in there. But again, a lot of them backed off. And this is why I feel like Anision pretty much has the one up on everybody now it's getting to the point where the tide's shifting to where anision and all these other like you know people that are on the fence i was a little bit on the fence i'm not gonna lie like i really wanted anision to pay for anything that he's made done to these girls because again it's to the point where when it came to anision like you know you have like five maybe seven girls i think it is don't quote me but when you have like five or seven girls just legit say, hey, this dude's done some things to me. You know, it's, it's not, it's, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? It just seems weird. Like, okay, well, why all five at the same time will sit there and be like, hey, you know, he's done things. He's, he's touching me in areas. He's, you know, got me over to his house, you know, forced to do all this stuff and everything like that or not even force, I would say, but more, you know, just he had us, us over there to the point where we we're within legal age and he did stuff to us. He checked the laws, which is really scummy and weird, but I guess it's to that extent where, you know, Nisian wants to use the law for his own benefit, then y'all guys need to start using the law to your benefit. If you don't feel like that, you know, if you're in the wrong or if you're in the bad or in the good, then you should. This is this is it. Like you guys legit blew your chance on getting Anision right where y'all guys wanted him. But instead, y'all guys chose to look at the money more versus actually going after him. And it's it's heartbreaking. Like it really is. It's so heartbreaking to sit there and see all these big anti O people that are just like you know f Greg, f him man. Like yeah, f him. But then once Greg says, okay, well, I'm more than willing to talk to him about it, you all just backed off. You all just start kicking dirt like, well, I don't want, I, I got nothing to talk to him about. It's, it's sad, man. It's like, it's really heartbreaking. And so with that, 
I'm probably going to end the video, but I'm also going to leave y'all guys with this. I have to uh, contact a detective that's working on my case. And if you haven't realized in the video, yeah, it's moving along quite nicely. And I have been asked to be a uh, eyewitness for the state to uh, go after this guy. Hopefully it's going to be cool. You know, we can sit there, maybe do something, some form of good. <coughs> Again, I'm not making any money out of this. I mean, you guys can look at the uh, the video. You know, I'm not really being monetized. I'm probably going to try for uh, a hint of getting monetized for this one. But at that point, you know, it's just, it's me trying to do something good in the world. You got a lot of people out there that are just trying to look for like ways out. They want to sit there and point the finger, but when it's time to like call to action, they want to back away. And that's cool, man. I mean, like if you want to do that, but when it comes straight down to it, like if you're not going to do anything, then just stop. It's that easy. Just stop accusing the person, stop attacking them, and just move on. Let somebody else that can actually take up the arm and go with glory. Like just go straight up to war with them. And by war, what I mean is, like, legal accusation. Not, you know, go find them where I'll have to live and beat the absolute hell out of them three inches to their life. Just go to war with them when it comes to it. Like, if you really do think that he's that bad of a person, y'all guys could have easily, like, made him backtrack so many times with all the information y'all guys have. You know, again, with Anision, with this little BS, uh, with his BS, like, uh, what is it, receipts he called it? Or screenshots, uh, the text messages with Sarah and all that. Like, if you pause, stop, read it, you would sit there and go, wow, you know what? This has no bearing whatsoever on what he's trying to accuse or argue or defend himself with. All it is is just a bunch of text messages between the two. You know, he sat there and said, oh, well, you know, she attacked, she threatened. And I looked at it, and it's just like, there's no way. There's no way in hell that she's done that. But, again, unfortunately, one thing I like about Facebook, one thing I hate about Facebook, or not Facebook, uh, YouTube. Oof. I'm getting tongue-tied here. Uh, you know, it's one of the biggest things I hate about YouTube is the fact that, you know, people are more than willing to sit there and be like, oh, we're all about the good. But as long as there's some form of cash that we're getting out of it, then, yeah, we're all for the good. But, God forbid that you know, you guys take some money away from us, then no, we don't care about it. We're not going to sit there. We're not going to ask the tough questions. We're not going to do this. We're not going to do that. You know, we're just going to choose to ignore it, play along with it, go, oh, maybe I should, maybe I shouldn't. And it's just like, you should. You know, if you really do care about these people that, you know, been through so much, you know, hell, you should be able to sit there and just be like, screw this. You know what? I'm going in. I'm going in. Like, what is he going to do? Oh, he, he said something evil. He's over-talking me. It's just going to make you look better. Legit, it's going to make you look better. If he starts over-talking or interrupting you while you're trying to ask a question or trying to defend a question or, you know, trying to uh, defend anybody, and if they start over-talking, that's how you know you won the argument. Because it's like, okay, well, you keep arguing. You're trying to point out something that, you know, you should easily... Oh, I'm going to get that rabbit. Uh, that you could have easily done something to defend yourself, but you chose not to. Instead, y'all guys are just like, nope, I'm just going to back away from this conversation. We're done. Nope, nope, we're done. We're done. Nope, we're not going to say anything. We're just going to, you know, keep our heads in the dirt, get that monetization on other videos or Twitch or, you know, anything else that may be to the extent of y'all guys getting paid, but then you just don't want to try and do anything that's considered, you know, lawful and good. But, you know, yeah, I think I ranted long enough. And, yeah, that's it. Um, follow me on Twitter, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. You know, I don't mind talking to some people. But, uh, yeah, y'all guys have a good day, good week. I'll probably come out with some more. Who knows? All right, guys. Uh, yeah, that's it. Good luck.